Hey guys, so I have accumulated a lot of books since my Christmas book haul and I'm going to try not to duplicate any of these. I think I've kept them pretty good and separate from my Christmas book haul to this one. Um, I should probably separate these and do two videos but I'm not going to. I hope it's not incredibly long but um, I just picked up these books one or two at a time so I didn't feel like doing a book haul until I accumulated a lot and now that I'm looking at my stack I have accumulated a ton of books so I'm just going to get started with this YA slash adult book haul that should be separated but I'm too lazy to do it and I hope you all enjoy. The first book I picked up, well probably not the first one, but one of the books I picked up since Christmas is Agatha Christie's and then there were none. I bought this because I want to read 10 by Gretchen. I always want to say Gretchen McNeil. Is that her name? You know who I'm talking about. Um, so I wanted to read the original first and then read her book and see how the two compare. This is a pretty short book. I think there's there's less than 300 pages so it shouldn't take me that long to read and then the second book I picked up is The Wild Girl by Jim Fergus he is the same author of 1000 White Women which I loved and adored I thought it was great let me scoot over there I felt like you couldn't see my books so I really loved and adored 1000 White Women and I just happened to find this book by him um, at half price books for super cheap and I was like you know what it sounds really good so I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up I really like his writing style this is a shorter book than 1000 white women coming in at just under 400 pages 332 so a lot under 400 pages so I got this one in the bargain bin and it is say you're one of them by I don't know how to say this author's name but he actually wrote cutting for stone which is a great book um, about a man growing up in Africa and I thought that's what I was picking up I was like oh my gosh I saw his name and just picked up the book and when I got it home I realized that it was say you're one of them so I'm not sure I don't know if this is like short stories or what it is but um, Cutting for Stone was a great book so I hope this one is equally as good I don't know we'll see it's an adult novel it's from the Oprah book club so I don't know we'll see next I got Stephen King the out I'm sorry, The Outlander, The Gunslinger. Um, this is the first book in the Dark Tower series. I have heard a lot of good things about this series. I think there's like a million books or something in this series. Um, and this is the first one. I've been looking for it and I just happened to come across it when I was looking for something else one day in the bookstore. I've heard a lot of really good things about this. People who normally don't like Stephen King say that this is a really good series. So it's a little book. I figured it was worth checking out. Next, I bought Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I bought this because it was part of the YT book club and I didn't read it because I don't like cyborg type stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I just didn't think I would like it. But now that Scarlet has come out and so many people are saying that this is a really good book, I decided to go ahead and pick it up and read it. I haven't started it yet. Um, hopefully I will like it. I read the first like maybe a couple pages and it sounds good. So we'll see how that goes. I'm sorry, I didn't read it when I was supposed to. Now uh, this book is one that I have been talking about. You might have actually seen it in a hashtag Friday Reads. For Christmas, my mom bought me the second book in the series, so I went and got um, Clockwork Angel, which is the first book in the Infernal Devices trilogy by Cassandra Clare. I, I don't know why my mom bought me the second book, so I had to go get the first one, and I already read this, so that's why you might have seen it in a Friday Reads. It was awesome. I um, did a review and put it on my blog, which I just started not too long ago, so I will link my own blog below so you can go check out my whole review. Also, if you want to know about any of these books, when I think about them, check me out on Goodreads. I'm trying to update my status and when I think about the books more often and then incorporate that into my blog. So, um, yeah, if you want to know what I think about these books, just check out my Goodreads and my blog. Next is Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I just ordered the second one of the series, which is Beautiful Darkness or, or Beautiful, Beautiful something. I don't know. Um, really enjoyed this. It was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Um, like I said, I went ahead and ordered the second one. That's how much I liked it. So again, I have a, a full review up on my blog, but this is part of my, um, you know, you might have seen this because it was part of my Friday Reads, I believe, a couple weeks ago. A couple of weeks after Christmas, I got A Shadow of Night because, because it was 50% off at the bookstore, so I went ahead and bought it, and I needed to buy the first one of the series. So after I bought that one, I went ahead and got A Discovery of Witches, which I had been meaning to read and just never picked up so I got this on like Amazon for a couple bucks brand new so I'm pretty excited to read this it's a pretty pretty big book but it sounds amazing I also bought Torment by Lauren Kate this is the second um in the whatever the series is called the fallen it doesn't say on here 
just as a fallen novel so I guess that's what the series is called um I like the first one it was okay um it wasn't like the best but it was something I would like to continue reading so this is the second book in that series these books you all also recognize from my hashtag Friday Reads. I bought the box set hardcover of Divergent and Insurgent and it's got like a little bonus book that's just like, I don't know, an interview or something. Um, I just thought it was really pretty. I got it for super, super cheap. Um, their hardcover, I actually own the paperback of Divergent and I never read it so I should probably give that to somebody who wants to read it. If you all, if somebody out there wants it, I will send it to you. If you haven't picked it up, it's like I said, the paperback. Someone asked, actually asked me why I had the paperback and the hardcover and that's why I bought the paperback and then I upgraded to the box set and got both of them. Um, like I said, these were on part of my Friday reads and I am currently reading Insurgents and I'm liking it a lot better than I liked the first one. But anyway, picked that up. That's what it looks like. I also picked up the three um, books from the Maze Runner series by James Dashner. What is the series? The Scorch Trials? What is the series called? The Maze Runner series. There you go. Um, and it's not really a box set. It just has this like little wraparound and then the three individual books. They're paperback and there are these weird covers. They're um, sort of like the originals, but not really at all. Um, so that's what they look like. They're, I just got the paperback, so I'm not sure if I'm going to like these or not. Um, the reason I got them is because this whole set, brand new, was $14 at Half Price Books, and I actually had a 50% off coupon or 40% off coupon, so I got it for like $9. So that was a pretty good deal. Couldn't pass that up. When I bought the Stephen King book, the first one in the Dark Tower series, I have been looking for this novel, and I didn't want to pay full price for it, and I was so glad to find it at Half Price Books and that is um under the dome i got it for 6.99 at the bookstore it's like 20 dollars paperback and this is the hardcover for 6.99 and it was brand new um the only damage to it is right here on the corner and that's where i dropped it at the store and then i felt guilty so i had to buy this one um but i've been wanting to read it it is a huge book it's over a thousand pages long i'm not sure <laughs> how i'm gonna read this or when i'm gonna read it um you know one of the george rr R. martin books i believe was storm of swords it's over a thousand pages but I mean, it's just, it's intimidating. Even for me who, you know, I try not to worry about the, the about how big a book is. This is still pretty intimidating. So I don't know. It's heavy too. <laughs> and then finally, I might've actually mentioned this in a previous haul. I'm not quite sure. I think maybe I tweeted about it, but I bought um, Les Mis. It was on sale for $7.99. I think I got it 50% off. It's the unabridged version. I would, I really wanted the movie cover version thing, um, but it was abridged. So this is the unabridged version and it's over a thousand pages as well. They say it should have been, they say the unabridged version is like 1400 something. This is 908. So I asked the guy, I said, are you sure this is the unabridged because it doesn't have a lot of pages in it? And he was like, yeah, check out the font. And I don't know if I can, I mean, the font is super ridiculous, tiny, if you can even see that. Oh my gosh. It is like the tiniest font I've ever seen in a book. I'm probably going to go blind when I try to read this. But that was one of my 2013 goals was to read Limas in 2013. Everyone who has read it says it's really, really good. I want to see the movie, but I don't want to see the movie without reading the book. So I have my work cut out for me. I have a lot of books. I hope you enjoyed this book haul. Um, hopefully I can squinch it down because right now I'm over 10 minutes. Hopefully I can make it shorter so you're not bored to death. But if you've read any of these books, let me know what you think about them. And if you want to see my opinion, I will update my blog regularly. And of course my Goodreads, I'm on there all the time. So as a matter of fact, that's probably the best way to get a hold of me if you ever need to. Just look me up on Goodreads and send me a message. Um, so yeah, guys, that's what I have going on. I hope you all are having a great week and I will see you later on in the week for a Wordy Wednesday. Bye guys.